Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on C++ and this is static assert. So before this video, we have seen assert. If you don't know, you must be able to see that video somewhere here. You can click that and watch that video. That previous assert was just simple assert and that assert was happening at runtime. Okay. And as this is static assert, this assert works at compile time. So if you remember previous assert that used to work if something you want to be true like if there is some pointer and you don't want that pointer to be null at some point and if that pointer gets null and you receive that pointer as a null then you will get this assert failure so that was at runtime this is at compile time and we have this syntax here so this will have the condition here which will work at compile time and if it fails we will see this error message whatever this error message will put here so it looks something like this so for our understanding we have this dimension class and in dimension class see this is template class we have this template and we are taking size from the user here after creating this dimension class we are saying that the type this t is going to be this integer and the size or the dimensions are going to be four here and two here but actually you want to put a restriction like this dimension class will only work if you have dimension size at least four dimensions. Okay. Or let's make it like two. So basically now it will work when your dimensions are at least more than three. If your dimensions are like two, then it will not work. So we all know that we have 3D, right? So three dimensions are known to us, but then we know that there are n dimensional stuff. So you will allow n dimensional stuff, but at least you have to initiate 3D. Okay. This dimension class will not work for 2D and 1D. So if you want to put any restriction like that, then you can use static assert. When user will try to compile and say that, okay, I want dimension of sort type, but I want to put, I mean, I want to have two dimension, then it will not compile. This will fail actually. Why it will fail? It will check here. The moment it will try to compile, it will see, okay, static assert size greater than two, but here I'm passing size as two, but this is expecting greater than two. So it will not compile itself. Remember this, this is compile time assert. This is not execution. I mean, run time assert. So this is not running and then identifying that this is the problem. No. So this helps a lot in the beginning itself. Like if you want to put some restrictions, then it, it can check at the compile time itself and other restrictions can be like, uh, maybe if you have integer type, then you want to enforce that I want to make my application only run on those system where integer is treated as four bytes, not two bytes. So you can put that restriction as well. So if you want to put any compile time restriction, this is the go. Okay. So let's quickly see how this will fail and what are the error messages. So if I'll compile this, so it will tell you that static assert failed due to requirement two should be greater than two, meaning this value, whatever this value is, it should be greater than two. Okay. That's why it is failing. It is pointing out that this is actually not passing. And if I will just simply comment this, or maybe I'll change this value, I'll make it to maybe three. So three dimension is allowed, right? So let me just compile this and see it compiled and there is no error. If I will just put two here, then we'll see it is not compiling. See, we got this error. Cool, right? So if you didn't know this, how this assert static work, then this video deserves a like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos like this. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.